Hi there, gearheads. You're listening to an instructional screencast on uh, GearWire.com, and you're also seeing it. And if you are, in fact, seeing it, what you are seeing is the UAD Neve 88RS. And what this is, it's a channel strip um, from a Neve board, basically uh, put inside a box. And it's um, available in the Nevana set from UAD. Uh, it comes with two cards and all the Neve plugins uh, you can get your hands on from UAD. It's a new plugin. Um, I have, I, I do have two uh, DSP cards in the computer, but I didn't use N Nivana. I, I uh, purchased this separately, um, which you can do on their UAD website. And I like this plugin. Um, it doesn't take up too much of the DSP resources of the card. And it sounds... In this particular video, we're just going to be taking a feature overview and um, the sample we'll be putting through we've been using on on, on some of the other UAD um, uh, videos we've been doing. And it's just a, a not overly loud, not overly compressed section of a, of a band practice that I had in my studio and I recorded. Uh, so let's give it a listen. Um, right now it's powered off in the GUI. Um, so we'll hear what it sounds like. And again, um, what I do, what, what I like to do is, uh, show you what the plugin does, um, when you bring it up, when you first open it. So let's take a listen to our dry signal. Hope you're not getting too tired of the sample yet. And now I'm going to power it on and let's see what happens. So when you first open it up, kind of a bummer. Um, at least in sonar, uh, the output is down 20 decibels. When we turn it up, I mean, we hear a little bit. Let's turn it off. Might be subtle and it might be my mind playing tricks on me, but I hear a little something going on there. So anyway, of course the output knob, very important when dealing with this plugin. One other thing I don't like when you open up this plugin, first of all, let's say let's turn on the equalizer. So that's what happens. Um, you have to zero out the board, basically, which is kind of brings it brings you back if you've ever worked inside of a studio. But uh, not exactly something I would like. It's just all the all the gain knobs for each band are turned all the way down. And of course, you could set up your own blank preset and do that, but I don't really have time for stuff like that. I'm fine with just zeroing it out. Um, so anyway, um, let's take a look at some of the features. It's got the gate. Um, you probably wouldn't use gate on program material, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. So that's a gate for you. It has an ex uh, expansion setting, so it's not exactly gating. Hysteresis, I'm not totally clear on what's that, what that's doing. I believe what it does is it uh, makes the release faster, uh, or the, the threshold is actually higher on the attack, and then gets lower when it releases. So, as you can hear, when I turn it down, it becomes... The threshold is, is lower, so I have to turn it up. But we hear how the attack and release settings happen. And when we turn up the hysteresis, it actually lowers the threshold on attacks and raises it on the release. We can, of course, raise the release time here so we don't get any of that happening. But, of course, that's not something you'd use uh, this plugin for on a program material uh, situation. So I'm going to try out the compressor and just play around with it. Once again, this is just our overview video. You gotta turn the ratio up to get anything happening. Release. Try out the auto setting. That goes all the way up. Auto release. Classic sound. Let's click that on and off. Giving us a little meat, a little, little fatness. Um, speaking of fatness, let's try out these low band EQs. Um, now when I add EQ, I like to keep the bells big. This is the Q control, and it's set all the way wide, so let's add some 120. And we can hear that's right where the bass lives. 
So if we need more bass or less bass, of course we go down, we might want to raise the cue a little bit. The bass is a little loud in this mix, I'll have to admit. Um, we can use our bottom, um, the, uh, the lowest band, which is down here, we can use that as a bell. So if we want to say, kick that, the boomp of the kick drum up, it's right around there. We could also use it as a shelf, like if we want to raise both the bass and the kick. So that's just raising the entire bass range as a shelf EQ. The upper range, now this is where EQ really pays its dues. Um, I think the EQ is pretty good on here for the upper range. I'm going to go ahead and turn up some... I don't know, 8, eight 7, 8K. Get some sizzle on that hi-hat. A little more attack on the guitars. Not too awful. But yeah, software EQs, the high end is really where you find out if it's worth its muscle. And actually, you know what? That's not that bad. I kind of like that. Uh, one thing we can do, we got too much bass, for example, that's subsonic, uh... That's the, the, the low filter, low cut filter, or high pass filter, whatever you like, prefer to call it. So we can start to eat up some of that subsonic nonsense that doesn't really affect us. You can also create like a, a bandpass filter sound. That's using the high cut filter as well. Turn those off. Uh, let's you uh, sidechain the EQ. So let's say we're doing some crazy additive uh, EQ over here. You're going to see the ratio go up over here. If I turn that off, there's more. That's quite a difference right there. So basically what, that, what that's doing is whatever the EQ is adding, it's uh, side-chaining to the dynamics section. And you can use that for DSing, other weird stuff. Uh, what I like to do is put the put the equalizer before the dynamics in the in the signal chain. It can sort of cause some more extreme effects with the uh, dynamics that way. Also, phase flop or uh, for you sticklers out there, polarity switch. So that's the basic overview of the Neve 88 RS. It's a fine plugin. Um, you can put it. It, there's you can put it all across just about every track say you have like 16 tracks you can put it all across every track all of a sudden you have sort of a virtual neve board at your fingertips which is i think the strongest suit for uh this plugin it uses a lot less of the dsp than um its predecessors such as the the neve mastering compressor which will eat up about one full card almost uh worth of cpu so Definitely check this out if you've got a UAD card, and if not, um, check out the Nivana. Might be cool. Thanks for uh, 